welcome to this video. In it, I'll discuss the importance of breastfeeding in providing natural protection against flu for you and your baby. You'll learn how breastfeeding helps build a more robust immune system and what steps you can take to ensure your child is well protected during flu season. 1. How does breastfeeding help protect against the flu? Research shows that breastfeeding can reduce the risk of flu-related illnesses in both infants and their mothers. Breastfeeding helps to pass protective antibodies from mother to baby, which helps strengthen a baby's immune system. Additionally, nursing mothers have been found to have lower rates of certain respiratory illnesses such as influenza compared to women who do not breastfeed. 2. What are some of the benefits of breastfeeding for a baby's immune system? Breastfeeding offers numerous benefits for a baby's immune system. Breast milk is the perfect food for infants and provides essential nutrients, antibodies, hormones, and enzymes that help to protect your baby from infections like colds and flu. The antibodies in breast milk are specifically tailored to each individual infant, providing protection against the specific germs that mother and baby have been exposed to during breastfeeding. In addition, Breastfed babies tend to experience fewer ear infections and asthma attacks than their formula-fed counterparts. The duration of breastfeeding also has an effect on immune health. Research suggests that longer periods of breastfeeding provide additional protection over shorter ones. All in all, it's clear that breastfeeding can be a powerful tool in helping to protect both mother and baby from infectious illnesses like the flu. 3. Are there any special precautions mothers should take during flu season if they are nursing? Yes, mothers should take special precautions to protect themselves and their babies during flu season while breastfeeding. These include keeping up with the recommended vaccines for both mother and baby, frequently washing hands or using an alcohol-based sanitizer, avoiding contact with anyone who is sick or has been exposed to the flu virus, covering mouth and nose when sneezing or coughing, disposing of tissues promptly, and avoiding touching eyes, nose, or mouth, wearing a mask when around other people who may be sick, disinfecting any frequently touched surfaces in the home at least once daily, eating a healthy diet rich in fruits and vegetables to boost the immune system, Ensuring baby receives enough fluids to stay hydrated, as well as an adequate amount of sleep. Trying to keep baby from contact with other people who may be sick. 4. Is it safe to breastfeed while you have the flu? Yes, it is safe to breastfeed while you have the flu. Breastfeeding is beneficial for mothers and babies during times of illness. While breastfeeding, your body produces antibodies that are passed on to your baby through your milk helping protect them from infection or illnesses, including the flu. In addition, skin-to-skin -skin contact between you and your baby can help reduce their stress level and increase the protective effect of parsing antibodies. As long as you're feeling well enough to nurse, continue to do so even if you have a cold or the flu. It will only make both of you stronger. 5. Do formula-fed babies have an increased risk of getting sick with the flu compared to those who are breastfed? No, formula-fed babies do not have an increased risk of getting sick due to the flu compared to those who are breastfed. Breastfeeding provides natural protection against a variety of illnesses, including the flu. However, formula-fed babies can still benefit from good health practices such as hand washing and avoiding contact with people who may be infected. It is important for parents to make sure that their baby's formula is prepared according to directions and made with safe water. Additionally, it is a good idea for all caregivers who handle the infant's food or bottles to wash their hands thoroughly before doing so. This practice helps reduce the spread of germs that could cause illness in your baby. 6. What can parents do to make sure their babies stay healthy during cold and flu season? It is important for parents to practice healthy habits with their babies throughout the cold and flu season to keep them safe. Some effective measures include Ensuring adequate rest for children, allowing them to get enough sleep so their bodies can mount an appropriate immune response when exposed to viruses, 
Maintaining a balanced diet of nutritious foods and foods rich in antioxidants like fruits, vegetables, nuts, and whole grains that can help strengthen a baby's immunity. Cleaning hands regularly and keeping surfaces clean to reduce exposure to germs. Keeping up routine vaccinations, which are especially important during cold and flu season as they help protect against serious illnesses such as influenza or pneumonia. Practicing proper hygiene to reduce the spread of illness, such as coughing and sneezing into a tissue. 7. How long does protection from breastfeeding last after a baby is weaned off? The protection from breastfeeding against flu infections is believed to last until a child is about six years old. While the antibodies found in breast milk are personally tailored for each infant, studies have shown that it may also protect from viruses and bacteria that the mother has never been exposed to. This means that even after weaning, babies may still benefit from some level of immunity for several years afterward. Additionally, research has indicated that the longer you breastfeed your baby, the greater the level of protection they will receive. Therefore, if at all possible, it is recommended to continue breastfeeding until your baby reaches two years old or beyond. Ultimately, while miracles cannot be promised through breastfeeding alone, they certainly can offer an extra layer of protection against the flu virus. We hope this video has shown you the importance of breastfeeding in protecting both mother and baby from the flu. Breastfeeding can be a challenging journey, but it comes with many rewards for your health and that of your child. If you found this information helpful, please leave us a comment to let us know how we've helped. Or subscribe to our channel for more tips on staying healthy during pregnancy and beyond. Thank you for watching.